stopped directly in front of my, behind my moving truck. And I just went right into his new car and smashed in the back door of that new 1938 Chevy. My dad came out of the car, and I tell you, you don't know anything about a mad dad. <laughs> he come in, boom, like that. You will not drive the car again until you're 18 years old. And for the next 20 years, my dad apologized to me every time he saw me, <laughs> telling me how sorry he was. And then he said, you know, I stopped in front of you. It was my fault. <laughs> now, can you imagine an old German admitting it was his fault? <laughs> anyway, I was so glad to know that. That's almost as positive as when your wife admits it's her fault. <laughs> Is that, that ever right, happened? Jim? Right, amen. Yeah, amen. Has that ever happened? <laughs> Has that ever happened? That mom admitted it was her fault? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's getting confused. What is your? Uh, yeah, he's getting confused now. Yes. Greatest, greatest um, accomplishment and your greatest disappointment. Oh, and don't say me. I'm just. <laughs> this is our greatest accomplishment. This is the accomplishment. I still remember that day Elaine went into open heart surgery and the whole bunch of kids was gathered around her there. She's, what was the words you used? This is my life. And this is what we say today. This is really our life, the family. A wonderful thing. We... And not a one of you do we want lost. We uh, have no real regrets to look back to. I asked Pastor Vance last week preached a tremendous sermon. I didn't get to go to church, but I listened to it online. And he talked about the relationship of wife and husband. It was a tremendous sermon. So after Elaine and I listened to it this week, I want you to know the greatest words to hear. I said, sweetheart, how do I fit into that? And she says, I have no regrets. How'd you like to hear that? I have no regrets. Wonderful, wonderful words. Lots of times I ask her, it's 65 years now, soon 66. Would you feel like doing it over again? She says, oh yes. Mm -hmm. The other day I asked her, when did you uh, first discover that you loved me? I don't know. <laughs> but I will tell you, she's told me when she discovered it. I came to North Central in 1940. Six, and about the first week or two that I was there, I walked down the hall and she was in the kitchen. And she said, when I walked by the door, this flashed into her mind. I might marry that guy. <laughs> I just knew he was your brother, but I didn't even know his name, but it was just crazy. And I laughed at myself. I thought I because I wasn't a crazy boy crazy girl. Yeah. What, like, what flash did you hear about? I might marry him. Oh. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> first, first time she saw, saw me. Where, where did that come from? I never yeah. forgot about it for months. It's a God thing. I think so. I really don't know. Well, anyway, yeah. our family problem is the greatest thing. When it comes to ministry, I've had ministry in lots of parts of the world but I don't count that as accomplishments. Let God decide what was accomplished. I simply like to say of myself, the same as the apostles said, a servant 
of Jesus Christ. And I don't feel any great personal achievements, although I have been blessed with the many areas of ministry that he's given me. May I have a question for him? Backing up. You can you can ask and sit down. Anybody got a hug for him? <laughs> <laughs> this is my little brother, as you know. It's the only brother I have left. Okay, yeah. number eleven. And I'm number twelve. Of the family. Of the family. Yeah. And, and we're hanging in together. <laughs> and there was a time there were nine of us, the brothers. Yeah. And three sisters. Yeah. And the two, two sisters are gone, and seven brothers are gone, and one sister is just a vegetable. She has n nothing going on in her life except lying in the bed. So it's just the two of us that's left of this large family. But you're hanging together for a while? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, boy. <laughs> It's like Jill says, we've got things to do and we've got places to go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Carmen. Happy birthday. Can I sit down?